In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform your variant options into professional looking image swatches. There is no coding or app purchases required. This is completely free. Anyone can do this. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. My product for this example is one I imported from AliExpress, and as you can see, not only do these look bad, but they're taking up a lot of space. So we're going to make this look way better using a free app. The app I'm using is G Variant Image and Color Swatch. It's the same app I used in this video to create these color swatches, but this time I'm going to make the variants photos instead of colors. When you get here, you should see a list of all the different variants you offer for each one of your products. Your list might be shorter or longer than mine. I've imported a number of products from AliExpress, so I have a lot of variants here. All you need to do is click the drop down for any variants that you want to display as an image swatch and select automated variant image swatch. Once you have everything selected, click next step. Here is where we can choose the template we want for our product pages. You can click through these and select whichever one you like best. This next page has a lot of options for you to go through. I personally didn't adjust anything here, but it's there if you want to. Our final step is to click the drop down menu and select which theme we want to install the app on. After that, click go to theme editor. Once you click the button, it will open this page in a new tab and everything will be done for you automatically. Your only job was to click that button, so if you did that, then what you need to do is click back to the tab you were previously in, and now you should be here. At this point, it's going to ask you to preview your product page to make sure the app is working correctly. You're going to notice that for mine, it's not showing, and there is a reason for that, which I'm going to tell you about next. So I'm just going to go ahead and click I see the image swatch widget to finish this out, and then I'll show you the two reasons your swatches may not be showing. The first is here. You should be brought here automatically, but in the future you can get back here by clicking options. When I set this up initially, I didn't select automated image swatches for this particular variant, so that's an easy resolution. I just selected it from the drop down. Now, if you don't see a certain variant here, this usually happens if you've added a new product after you've installed the app. So all you would do then is click sync now, and then it will repopulate this list with all your new variants. The only other scenario where you won't see an image swatch for one of your products is if you don't have a photo uploaded for that variant. So if that's the case, you just go to your product listing, scroll down until you see variants, click on the missing photo, and add one in. That's it, here's how it looks. If you're experiencing any issues and need help, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help. If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.